What's up, y'all? It's your boy Shazne. We have received Akira Toriyama's final comments as of now. This is all coming from Akira Toriyama was announced to win the Lifetime Achievement Award at the Tokyo Anime Award Festival 2024. And this win was announced on December 14th, 2023. But he was supposed to receive the award on stage during the actual festival on March 8th or 11th, 2024. And they have made his comments on it public. And I'm reciting this from at Super Chronicles from X and could potentially be his final comments. There is a chance that we might be getting a little bit more if perhaps there was something that he wanted to put out before he passed away. We're not sure. A lot of these informations are coming out bits and pieces, but this could actually be the final comments because his passing seems to be something that was quite unexpected. It may not be something they necessarily did not see coming at all, but I think the time in which it happened, I think that was quite shocking and surprising for many. And with these comments here, and at least a portion within this comments, we could actually see Akira Toriyama speaking on his health for a bit. With that said, this is from Akira Toriyama, the English translation from Super Chronicles. To be honest, I have never had much interest in anime, and even when my work was made into animated format, I felt embarrassed to admit that I did not watch much of it. Apologies to the staff. About 10 years ago, out of the blue, I was asked to revise the script for the Dragon Ball animated film, which I assume was Dragon Ball Z Battle of Gods. And I drew some simple designs for the characters and backgrounds. I thought I can leave the difficult parts for the staff, he laughs. Thus, it is truly embarrassing that I am the recipient of the Tokyo Anime Awards Festival's Lifetime Achievement Award. One of my most unforgettable memories in animation works is when I met the late animator Toyo Ashida for an anime project called Koseki Sama. Rikimaru Sama, which was produced for the Shonen Jump original. This project did not have a manga, so a meeting was held. He was an amiable person. That could be a misspell, it could be amicable, but regardless, he was an amiable person and we quickly bonded. And every time I saw his drawing style, I was moved by his careful and swift touch. I thought, all right, I guess this kind of touch, I need to speed up the drawing process and make Dragon Ball look much smoother. The drawing time was reduced to about Two thirds of what it used to be. We influenced each other in many ways, and I think it was truly fulfilling time. I pray for the repose of Ashida san's soul. All right, so this is me jumping in to make a quick comment. I thought so far that's a beautiful speech slash comment. That he has made. So now we might potentially be getting his final words on Dragon Ball Daima. Because I don't think anything could have been pre recorded if this passing was a surprise, unless he had some other stuff he left for us. We don't know. But beside his work, I'm sure there was a lot more other things that needed his attention. So this could potentially be our last thoughts from Akira Toriyama about Dragon Ball Daima. Dragon Ball Daima, which will be rolled out in 2024, was originally planned to be an original anime series with. Without me, but as I gave advice here and there, I ended up getting deeply involved with the project without realizing. I was not only involved in the overall storyline, but also in the worldview, character design, mechas, and other aspects. I hope you will enjoy watching the series, which I believe is not only intense and action packed, but also full of plenty of substance. Finally, I would like to thank everyone who has supported me so far. I'm not sure how much more I can do, as I am not very confident. About my health, probably due to my lifestyle when I was younger. But I will try my best to create more interesting pieces of work, so please continue to support me. So that was from Akira Toriyama, comments which he made in December 2023 that's been made public to us a few days ago. There's a lot in here、um, that are beautiful,、uh, that could bring potential joy, but also lots of sadness, you know, reading through these and especially his final comments about his、uh, potential health. And how he was feeling.、Um, it seems like he knew Dragon Ball Daima could be one of those things where he wanted to kind of go out high, you know, wanted to go out with full of passion. As you can tell, you know, he was not very much involved with the whole animated stuff. He clearly gave his ideas and notes and corrections here and there, but honestly, he probably didn't care much. 
what he loved was drawing and writing and he excelled at that he gave us a timeless classic with dragon ball and dragon ball z but many more other things as well because just as many of you i will be sharing my love and the greatness of dragon ball beyond the nostalgia beyond toriyama's passing but the work itself that he was able to create the mythology that he was able to build that work speak above us all above himself and i'm sure that's what he would have desired as well as an artist that is what all of them strives for to leave behind something that outlasts them and Toriyama has given us multitude of things and he's not done yet Dragon Ball Daima is coming out this fall he was heavily heavily involved basically been through the whole process and what I loved about the whole Daima comments is the fact that it's not only intense and action-packed but full of substance which is a clear point that he has made that he has never made before when it comes to any other Dragon Ball films or Dragon Ball Super Anime and that is what I I'm hoping out of Dragon Ball Daima and it's going to be an incredible emotional beautiful painful experience watching that first episode and the whole series because his soul will definitely come through and you can you can see through the way he describes it and the way he talks about it obviously being aware about his health and where that could potentially lead I'm sure he wanted to speak a lot emotionally with his work especially with Dragon Ball Daima so there's a lot in here that I might be expecting too much at this point but I, if you guys saw my reaction for Dragon Ball Daima teaser y'all know I've been very much excited since the announcement because ever since I knew that he was involved this was a passion project of his he fell in love with Daima and the idea of it and got so deep involved with it emotionally and psychologically i think he put everything into this so and plus he, he's not even a big fan of anime so it's not it's not a format he would naturally gravitate towards but something where daima pulled him in there was a gravitational pull like the character goku daima really pulled him in so that means something that is something and i do believe dragon ball daima will be something special and i cannot wait to experience it so with that said guys let me know what y'all thought of these comments and how y'all been feeling it is crazy to me that i dropped a video called is dragon ball and dragon ball z worth reading in 2024 a video i dropped a day before the official announcement came out it's it's insane this whole thing started with me heading towards a transition from doing reactions in the past to making more of book videos based on comics and mangas when i make a new transition or starting a new series of such i usually like to start off with something that means to me whether you know it was thought about Vijay, whether it's Dragon Ball, you know, whether it's Superman, any of those three. And I thought Dragon Ball was the perfect way to get this started. And that video was precisely for newcomers who may be on the fence to get into Dragon Ball. So of course, based on the title, it's an obvious yes. So I started this new chapter of this channel with sort of a recommendation video to make those newcomers make the choice to to get into Dragon Ball a timeless story so that's how it started and the day after to hear the official announcement that was crazy but here we are so at this point I'm at this phase of accepting it and focusing on celebrating and sharing his greatness to the world I've already made a video dedicated to Akira Toriyama about how he changed my life so without his work without his greatness being part of my life I wouldn't be who I am today so I'm forever grateful for Toriyama and what he was able to create the magic he was able to capture that is evergreen that is timeless once again I want to end this video off saying Thank you, Akira Toriyama. May your soul rest in peace. And as for you guys, thank you for watching and see y'all on my next one. Salute.